To connect a remote to your Fire TV without the old controller, all you have to do is pull out your phone, open up Google Play or Apple App Store, and then go to the search bar and search for Amazon Fire TV. Once you've found the one that's made by Amazon, go ahead and install it. It should be pretty fast as it only takes about 40 megabytes. Once it's done, go ahead and open up the app. You may be asked if you want notifications and you can allow or reject this to take you to the next screen where it will look for devices. All you have to do here is make sure you have your phone connected to the same Wi-Fi as your Fire TV and then just wait patiently for the right one to pop up. Once you see the right one, go ahead and click on it. When you do this, you will then be asked for a four digit code that will be displayed on your Fire TV. Now go ahead and enter the code on the TV and you will have successfully connected. Now we can go ahead and use this to connect the new Fire TV remote. Using the remote app, navigate to settings all the way at the right top of the menu. Then scroll down and select the option called controllers and Bluetooth devices. Of course, at this stage, you're gonna wanna go ahead and click on Amazon Fire TV remotes and then go down and add new remote. Now our TV is searching for remotes. So we're gonna go ahead and pull out our new remote and then press down and hold the home button for around 10 seconds or until the LED at the right hand corner starts to blink. Once it starts blinking, it has entered pairing mode and now you just have to wait for it to show up on your TV. When it does, pull out your phone one more time and use the remote app to select it as a new remote. And just like that, you should have connected a new remote to your Fire TV.